Hello, all you Swifties. Welcome to San Antonio Neighborhood Real Estate. That's right. This is my real estate channel. But today we're talking about Taylor Swift concert tickets. Isn't that insane? My goodness, her tickets went on sale and literally broke the internet. It's crazy. They sold millions and millions of tickets in such a short period of time. Ticketmaster had to shut down their website. They said they just didn't have enough tickets left to meet the demand. There were so many people still trying to get tickets. That guy said, I could have sold 90 million more tickets. And it's insane. He said, I just didn't have that many tickets left. So I decided to shut down the website. So um, for however many tickets they do have left, I'm not sure what they're going to do with those. I know that there are still tickets available. I've been on the venue. As a matter of fact, let's take a look here. So here's the venue. And here are some of the higher ticket prices over here. Now, this last one down here at the bottom, I don't know if that's a mistake or what. It says $48,584 for a ticket. Before that, it drops down to $4,499. So still, we're talking like almost $4,500 for a ticket to the Taylor Swift concert. Mind blown. I mean, yeah, Taylor Swift is talented. I know she's super popular, but $4,500, not to mention $48,000. I, I don't know. Like I said, I think that may be a mistake. But $4,500 for a concert ticket? Yeah, I know I'm a little old. But man, we used to go to concerts. I went to some of the greatest concerts ever. And concert tickets when I was a teenager were 12 bucks, maybe 15. <laughs> that really uh, kind of shows my age, I guess. But you got to be kidding me with these prices of these tickets. It's insane. So make sure you stick around for the whole video. I've got a big surprise for you and you're going to love it. So uh, it's just unreal. One thing that you really need to know in life is if everybody is buying, that's not the best time to buy. Most times, that is not the best time to buy, okay? It's just not. I mean, if you look at the stock market, any stock market professional will tell you when everybody's buying is not a good time to buy. The best time to buy is when everybody's selling because then you get a better price. Now, I know with concert tickets, you have to buy them when they go on sale or you're not going to get them. So um, that kind of is what it is in a sense. But at the same time, my goodness, sometimes I think it's wiser just to step back and go, no. Now, uh, I'm not hating on Taylor Swift, not at all. I mean, like I said, she's she's talented. She's very, very popular. But sometimes if you get too popular, you kind of price yourself out of the market for a lot of your fans. Most fans can't afford that kind of money. I was looking at the cheaper prices on that same site earlier. I mean, they start at almost $500 and just go up from there to what I was showing you, like almost $4,500. You know, it kind of reminds me of the housing market, right? So last year and, and part of the year before, I'd say also things just went kind of crazy. And you couldn't even put an offer on a house without there being 10, 15, 20 other offers on that house. Well, that would tell me that this is not the best time to be trying to buy a house. Now, I understand why people were. I mean, we, we had historically low interest rates. And just here in Texas, there are people coming from more expensive states, more expensive cities, 
like Los Angeles, like New York and some others where they were just coming here feeling like they were snapping up these bargains because our houses are just not as expensive as theirs, right? So I kind of understand what was going on, but at the same time, my goodness, you just have to sometimes pull back, I think, and go, no, this is not the right time. Because my wife and I, we had got in just before all of that craziness started and bought our house and we got it for a reasonable price. We got a really good interest rate as well. But my goodness, it just went insane. So what is better than Taylor Swift concert tickets? I can think of a thousand things that you could spend your money on rather than spending $4,000, $4,500 for a concert ticket. That's insane. You could go on a cruise for that much money. You could go see something in the world that you've never seen before. You know, that's a memory you'll have for a lifetime. Not to say you can't make a memory at a concert. I mean, I certainly remember the ones that I went to, but again, we're talking 12, 15 bucks, right? <laughs> Back in those days. Uh, when I was a teenager, you know, as a young adult, they were going up some. I might've spent 20, 25, 30 bucks for a concert ticket. But um, $4,500, Never, never, ever. That is insane to me. So since this is a real estate channel, can I talk about real estate for just a few minutes? Now, we'll get back to those concert tickets. I am going to show you a good way to have a really good chance of picking up a couple of those concert tickets for free. But let's just talk real estate for a few minutes. Now, I was talking about when everyone else is buying, how that's usually not a good time to buy. Guess when there's a time when very few people are trying to buy right now. We're coming into the holidays. That's the slowest time for real estate, right? But guess what? When you go out to buy something during the off season, during the slow time, that's when you're going to get the best deal. If you're out there trying to buy and competing with everyone else, when everyone else is trying to buy, that's when you're going to get the worst deal. You know what? That's why they call it a seller's market. So if you're a buyer, that's not a good time for you. It's a good time for the sellers because all the competition will run up the price. People will be overbidding on the prices because competition just drives prices up supply and demand you know when the demand is high the supply is low prices go up that's how things work right right now people are thinking more about buying christmas presents than they are about buying a house no one particularly wants to move during the holidays right but that's okay you can still buy a house you know what it's going to take you 30 to 45 days to close on the house anyway. By then, the holidays will be over, right? And you're ready to move into your new house. Now, we have some homes that are ready to go, quick close kind of situations where you could be in your house by Christmas. So that's a possibility as well. But whichever you prefer, now is the great time to get out there and make a deal. So if you're a kid, if you're a teenager and you just want some Taylor Swift tickets, again, I'm going to tell you how you can get those, but I need you to show this video to your parents because I'm going to be giving away a couple of tickets to the people who buy a house. If I reach my goal by the end of the year, and my goal is not a whole lot, right? If you buy lottery tickets, you're buying the same thing again. <laughs> it keeps coming back to this same point. When a whole lot of people are buying, it's probably not a good time to buy. You can go out and buy lottery tickets. We just had a lottery that was $2 billion and somebody bought that ticket. But the odds of winning the lottery are so slim. You have a better chance of being struck 
by lightning twice. That's right, you have a better chance of being struck by lightning twice than winning the lottery. So I'm gonna give you way, 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 way better odds on these Taylor Swift tickets. How about a one in 10 chance? How about a one in 10 chance at two Taylor Swift concert tickets? So that's my goal. 10 houses by the end of the year, everybody goes into a drawing and one of those people is gonna get two tickets. How's that sound? So if you got parents or if you are the parent, if you're the adult and you're planning on buying a house, you're thinking about buying a house, this is a great time to buy. There are builders that are offering incentives right now. You can't get incentives when everyone else is trying to buy because they don't have to give incentives when everyone else is trying to buy. Right now, there are, there are not a lot of people out trying to buy, and that's why these builders are offering incentives. They want to get these houses sold by the end of the year, right? You have to pay taxes on them. You know, if they still have them at the beginning of the year, they don't want that. They want these houses sold, so they're offering incentives. They're paying closing costs. They're offering reduced interest rates. You know, it's a great time to buy right now. It's a great time to buy. All of my contact information will be in the comment section below this video. So you can call me, you can text me, you can even schedule a Zoom meeting and we can meet face to face just like this. And we can talk about what it is you're looking for, what it is I can do to help you make that happen. And this is what I do best. You know, if you've got a home you need to sell, oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm I'm a marketing expert. <laughs> you know, that's that's what I do. Also, you know, I can sell your home for the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. I've written books on it, and uh, we can get that done as well. Okay. All right, so I told you I had a big surprise for you. I do. Guess what? I talked about a drawing. You'd have a one in 10 chance of getting two tickets to the Taylor Swift show in Houston. Guess what? I don't want to do that. I don't want to deal with a drawing. Today is my birthday. I'm feeling generous. Everybody who calls me and purchases a home, this is while supplies last. You're going to get two tickets to Taylor Swift. How about that? How about that? The hottest show in the country right now. You're going to go. Two free tickets. All right? So there are restrictions and, you know, there are, there are things that apply. If you want the full details, you'll have to contact me. But I'm paying for your tickets to the Taylor Swift show. So that's the deal right now. If you're thinking about buying a home in the San Antonio area or anywhere in Texas, really, it just depends on the home. I can travel. My license is good anywhere in the state of Texas. And I don't mind traveling. I specialize in the San Antonio area. But I mean, I can find you a specialist in Dallas, in Houston wherever you want to live in the state of Texas. If I can't go and take care of you myself, I'll find someone who will. That's a promise, okay? That'll do a good job for you. So call me, text me, schedule a Zoom meeting. Let's get together. There's tons of inventory. I'm going to show you just a little bit of that in this video. And after that, it, it's all up to you. Would you rather spend $4,000 for a Taylor Swift ticket? Or would you like to use that money to get yourself into a new home? I think uh, the answer should be obvious to you. So I look forward to hearing from you. Call me today. Until then, take care.
We'll see you next time.